Legend Total War here, and today we've got another Saving Your Disaster campaign. This time playing as the Romano-British in Rome Total War Bo uh, Barbarian Invasion. Now playing as the Romano-British is actually not possible under normal circumstances. I believe what you actually have to do is firstly play as whatever faction, and then allow the Romano-British to show up, and then you use a save game editor to basically say whatever faction you were playing as before as the AI, and then set the uh, the Romano-British as the player. I think that's what he's done. Because under normal circumstances, you can't do it. This is not a mod or anything like that. He just used a save game editor. So we're pretty late in the campaign, and the big problem here is he's got nearly half a million in debt. So this reminds me of that, that French campaign that we did. But you, uh, that was one of the most popular disaster campaigns. So who knows, maybe... Maybe this will be popular, we'll see. But he's still, he's got a lot of settlements, but they're all over the place. It's a, it's a fucking mess. Oh well, we're just gonna deal with it. So, I went and had a look through the list to see where everything was. He's got like, he's got an army out in the water here, he's got an army besieging this here. This settlement here is fucked. Uh, these, it's just so much of this is fucked. Okay, now let's let's like start from the west and move through move through everything in the east. Every single area that he has is poorly managed. Okay, so this here, Tingi is not a valuable settlement for you. Your capital is Jerusalem, and if you have a look at the actual finances you're making here, it's half of it would have been taken by corruption. So, like these these troops here are costing you a damn fortune. Um, I'm going to merge them because we're not going to be able to retrain them anytime soon. What we'll do here instead, just leave behind one unit and put it on low taxes. See, that keeps it under control. And here's the thing. Yes, the city makes less money, but also the upkeep of the city will be reduced by taking these guys out and we'll take them out to the fight. Now, I'm thinking we'll go to Cordoba over here and take on the, the, uh, the Western Roman rebels and then we'll see how we go from there. Of course, I have no idea what it looks like. Fleet ready. But we'll find out, won't we? You come over here, and we've got a Romano-British army. I don't know what the hell he's doing. But we want to try to bring them over here and meet up with the rest of the forces. So I merge them there. Anytime you see all of a sudden the army just, like, collapse in on itself, it's just me merging units. Uh, these guys Aye, over here, probably not going to be able to capture that settlement, so let's try to get them... Aye, Set sail. Let's try to get them home safely. So I'm going to put yes, them here Captain. and have them walk Leaving up through this army. way. Meanwhile, Off you need to come up through here, Forward. try to get Aye, to this Captain. port. Set you... Fleet ready. Like, if there's pirates here, they'll definitely attack us. So I don't know what to do with them. We could bring them over here to this port. But there's pirates on the way, so I don't know if I can save that unit. Now, we've got... Various forces out here. It's just such a dog's breakfast. You've got army... Just, just a gigantic mess. So what have they got here? Alright, well we can clear that out, but we won't get like a man of the hour or anything. Probably better results than what I could have got manually just because these are units of trash. You need to come back as well. So that's got three turns left until it's staffed out. So this settlement here, okay. Um, I had a look at what the issue is. And part of the problem is you got a corrupt and degenerate general here. He's just a he's just an idiot. Taking him out of the city increases the income by a huge amount. Well, more like decreases the corruption and everything. Now, what I've decided to do with this settlement, and I don't normally do this, and I don't like doing this. I think it's a, a noob thing to do, but the problem is that we have no money to, to build up public order. What we need to do is let it revolt, and then just retake it. Merging armies. Now, once that ship gets over here, maybe I'll send them back into Britannia to try to capture Because these are huge cities, I should be able to maintain them. So we're at war with the Franks as well. And the Sassadids. Right. So, yeah, we got issues out here. Uh, 
like a buksha. Uh, clearing out all of these Sassanid forces in this area here is going to be time consuming and annoying. Uh, capturing Salamis would be a, a good move. What's going on here? A Christian settlement with a pagan temple. Let's get rid of that. Let's see. Just turn off the sound there because we don't want to hear that ear rape. Um, there are lots of generals in the area. But I don't know what's in this army here. Still, this this is our capital area at the moment. What's our finances? So we're losing 8,700 a turn. So we, we basically need to exterminate 8,700 worth of gold each turn just to maintain half a million in debt. So let's have a look at the financial situation. Apparently, yeah, so we got 4,800 in corruption. That's because you've got empire all over the place. The distance to capital penalty is huge. Centralize, you have to centralize. God damn it. Um, army upkeep, 21,000. So yeah, obviously we're just not making enough money to pay for all those troops. Now, I did see that we have a fleet over here I with a small army. I don't see any reason why we couldn't capture Ravenna. It's a, it's a very small army. He wouldn't be able to make it back there in time. All right, drop him off. Yes, Captain. Splitting the troops. Disembark. Daryl, engage the enemy. Besieging settlement, sir. Chances are that this settlement here has already got some breaches. Settlement so maybe we can get sir. in that way, but we have to create a ram at least. Sir. If we could try to get these two together, that would be ideal. Okay, so I just got to text them. Just mute that. We'll deal with it later. Okay, so... General. Imperator. All right, let's, let's capture this now. What do they got? Should be easy. Let's do it. But it's such a mess. Even though he's got a lot of settlements and he's not, like, on the verge of defeat, he is actually on this the verge will of be defeat. A one. Come what Couldn't change the weather. Sorry. Alright, right, now we don't want to do too much damage to the settlement, so just go through the front there. Because if you, if you ram through the gate, it doesn't actually... God. Fucking restrict camera as well. <laughs> and it's on large unit scale. What is this? Amateur hour? Sorry, right. oh, that's a bit me. Gotta centralize. I mean, he did say that he wanted to like go for a crusade. Which I think what he had was like a centralized Germanic and British. Our soldiers have reached the gates with a battering ram! And he sent a large force over to the Holy Land to, to capture it, which fragmented his empire. And I've seen so many times people go on these fucking stupid down. crusades Our battering where they sent a huge army over to the Holy Land. They don't know where to put their capital. End up dying based on just bleeding out from corruption. Units. They, just, they just shouldn't have done it in the first place. Units, move, like, if you, can, if you can manage to do that, then great. Units. But... You shouldn't do that. Actually, a perfect example of me doing this is my, uh, my England roll call campaign. Our soldiers have exactly captured the that. walls! Except now I, is know, the time to press on and managed. capture this place! Oh well, to each their own. Play how you want to play. But... What a mess. Alright, so... Uh, we want to take minimal casualties, because obviously we don't want... We're, we're going to probably fight a lot of Western Romans. Alright, I'm just going to take these two. They should be sufficient to... to take them down there, actually. One should be enough to deal with this. The enemy general is running away! This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle, it's beyond belief! He's all these javelins didn't hit anything. Good job. That's right. The 
God be praised! I mean, that's good, the but enemy general don't is need to dead. kill the enemy general. His scenario. men know their doom approaches. Cool, minimal casualties and taking another shitty settlement. We'll need to exterminate them. Actually, you know what? Enslaving them might actually be a better op option because it'll incre increase population growth in this province and nearby provinces, which will increase yeah the uh, population growth bonus due to public order. Yeah, so a lot of stuff to repair, can't do anything about that. And also it does provide a little bit of money. Okay, now we want to come down here and capture Mediolanium. Could be a tough fight. I mean, there's only one unit there, but who knows what else is going to be waiting for us. Orders. Imperator. 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 Just think how I want to organize these troops. Orders. Imperator. Imperator. Orders, orders. Sir, sir, we have to leave someone behind. Imperator. Orders, leaving the army. Shit. Imperator. Orders, orders, leaving the army. Sir. Is it seventy percent? It'll, it'll manage. And yeah, okay, so that'll be fine. We gotta try and take as many of them as possible down south. Prepare for battle! Besieging settlement, sir! Settlement under siege, sir! So hopefully we don't get attacked by anything. General! Orders! Yep, you General. come back over this March. way. No more moves, sir! Now over here, what is he doing? Alright, let's drop the taxes and take the guys out of the city. Orders! Uh, leave behind just uh Orders. Yeah, putting more peasants in here isn't going to make any difference. Sir. And let's march Onward. south. No more moves, sir. Sir. Yeah, sir. leave. Oh no, three units of peasants there. Forward. And drop the taxes. Sir. Onward. Sir. Onward. Try and make our way south. Try to try to get our troops together. Like, these settlements here aren't overly important, but that doesn't mean we should just throw them away, especially if we can hold on to them. And they probably do make just a just a small amount of money. Now, this situation here, we've got to do something about this. But it would, we're probably not going to be able to peace out with the assassins. I mean, we could always try. Could them offer them once. map information and trade rights. I could probably offer to give them a region, maybe. Give them... Maybe Campus Burgundio. Or even Tingy. Like, I don't need Tingy. No, you know what? Fuck him. I'm gonna fight him. Piss, piss, just go, go kill yourself. I'm gonna fight you. Alright. Imperator! Orders! Like I said, we don't know what's here. Could be all fucking Clibinario for all we know. Bring these guys in as reinforcements. Another thing to consider, we've got nine regions and it says 43 family members. It's living family members. As long as we manage to expand, we'll be able to get more generals. Maybe even taking out the smaller fries and waiting for them to split this force up might be a good Sir. idea. So maybe coming over here and attacking. Maybe making a, a move towards Antioch might be an idea. Alright, I'm going to take Orders. all the cavalry out. Forward. Look, if Philadelphia gets taken, who cares? It's not worth Orders. much. And, I mean, I was thinking about going to Salamis, but it's no real threat to us right now, whereas Assassinates are. And it's not like there's not rich settlements up this way. Orders. General. Right, so, let's send them to Sidon. Move sit out. there for a turn. Orders. And we'll just leave behind one unit of coastal levies there. Ah, oh, shit. 
Sir! Forward! So we got seven General. and eight. Um General. Orders. Let's drop the taxes. General! Uh, just Orders! Maybe disband this, I'm not gonna really make use of it. Orders! General! Blue out! And then we'll march forward up towards Antioch next turn. Ready Let's to keep all of our ships together over captain. here. Now we've, we've got Egypt. It seems like it, the settlement's working out pretty well for it. For them. Right, I'm gonna take these guys... Let me see. Oh no, we're not gonna go that way. Maybe... There's too many of them here though. I'm gonna leave three of them behind and send the rest up this way. Maybe I'll send them to go take Petra. I don't know. All good. Now, do I need to? Let's go through the list here and see if we can find anything else. Okay. General. So anything with six eight three, that's all in the same region there. Because it's a, such a fucking mess. We don't know if I, I might have missed an army somewhere. General! 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 Orders! Im I, Captain! Imperator! So get easier orders. to manage once I, we Cap get them I, together. Captain. Not all Fleet of them in ready. one big blob, Fleet but just ready. get some of them Fleet together. Ready. Ready to Fleet ready! Ooh, one ship. Set sail! Move depleted, okay. sir! That's fine. Alright, well obviously we can't do any construction. I've moved everyone as much as I can. So be it, let's move on. I'll accept this, but I want you to give me money. Otherwise, I will fight you. Let's see, how are we going to go about this? We don't know how much money they've got. We could just... I don't want them to give me a city. That's not going to make any difference. I'm just going to betray them straight away anyway. Make me... Uh, 50,000, I think. I think that'd be fair. Hmm. How about... 40,000. Like, I'm not gonna just accept that. It's pointless. 30,000. Oof, we got some. You don't know how to haggle, dude. 20,000. Like, even if I get one coin out of them, if I backstab them, what does it matter? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna accept this without actually getting anything out of it, and they're not gonna pay off my debt. So, even ten thousand would be helpful. I'm not gonna go any lower than this. No deal. You will suffer my wrath. That's fine. We'll have the towers. All right. Cool. Actually, still getting new guys. So this will go to Pope. Uh, so we'll probably go to the capital. Yeah. Yeah, when settlements, uh, when the se buildings get damaged, um, can't repair them. It sucks. General. So we've we've taken Forward. on more debt. Can't do anything Sir. about that. Forward. Try and get these Sir. guys home. Forward. Sir. Forward. Out of move. Sir. Sir. March. Nice. That looks easy, and it's not a huge city. Whatever. Let's take it. Besieging settlement, sir. Settlement under siege, sir. Orders. It's not well defended. Ready to sail. Set I'll get sail. him to just go besiege the settlement. I don't yes, know if it will assault. Leaving the army. Disembark. Out of moon, sir. Sir. Hmm. Yes, we'll see. Imperator, attack! Settlement under siege, sir. Imperator. Prepare for so we've got a, we've got a tower seat, here, but we sir. don't have a tower here. Sir. All we've got is a ram. But because the walls are so badly damaged, we might be able to sneak through somewhere. But I don't know. I, I don't know where it could possibly be damaged. Prepare 
so this is a going on a bit of blind hope here competency first cohort we can beat that I could order resolver but I don't trust the order resolve so fight it manually sending a ram forward against huge stone walls if there if there is no breach already made we cannot win this like there is no situation that will allow a ram to get to the gate there are many like I said I'm counting on there being a breach somewhere shit it's damage but no breach we found a breach! Good! I can get in that way. Is there any other breaches that might be a little bit closer? Well, we only need one breach, but that's what we're looking for. Okay, I don't need the ramp. Now then, these are... Are these large stone walls or epic? I don't know. I think they're large. Yeah, like I said, I don't know. I didn't check. Now, once we go through the breach here, we're gonna need someone to go and capture this. Well, we'll know if it's large or epic stone walls once we get close, whether it's regular arrows or ballista fire. I think we should get him to go and capture this wall, this gate, and then that'll give us a free path into here. Yeah. Yeah, we won't have to worry about any other towers. Now, of course, we can't repair the walls, but we don't really need to. Maybe the archers. I don't know. Let's still, just align ourselves first. Make sure we're not tired, because the. I might just pause the recording whilst I do this initial part here, because this can't be particularly interesting. Okay, they've had a rest. Let's go in. I'm going to send the archers in. Come in at somewhat of an angle. Because these sunk, they can shoot at the side. Hug, hug the wall there. Get in. See, it's just... Yeah, it's it's epic stone walls. Good, captured the wall with only two men killed. Now is the time that's, to press on and capture the only this tower place. we have to worry about. Okay. Now we start making our way towards the town square where there's combat intensity first cohorts to deal with. Ideally, it would be good if we could do some damage by shooting him. Especially considering they've got their backs facing us. At least they killed one man. Trying to. Guys, get around over there. Actually, probably better than they shot them as opposed to our legionaries. Units! Units! Double time! 
Okay. Done some damage to them. So it's better than nothing. Missile Trying to minimize attack. casualties. Let's go. They're just going to stand there. You know, we'll get the odd kill every now and then. Hey, you guys. Quickly get in the position over here. They gotta be out of Jaffa's now. Well, we can see that they've got some forces nearby. We're actually pretty close to Rome. The old capital of Ravenna. Um, we can maintain things here, public order, but we can't we can't recruit more units. If they do attack, at least we'll have the epic stone walls helping us. These are just large stone walls here. Oh good, you can stop yourself from getting sunk by hiding in the port there, so that's, that's lucky. Alright, that's, that's good, we got more cities now. Alright, let's, let's take Mediolanium. I think in this situation here, auto resolve might actually be better, because General's bodyguards don't fight well in auto resolve. Yeah, we, we got the better of them on that one. That was good. We would have lost way more if we had fought that manually. The only downside is that we probably did some extra damage to the city. Oh well. Good, these are two Christian cities. And now we just need to wait and see what they're going to do. It's good. The, uh, the paganism's going down there. Alright, this will revolt next time. What kind of walls do we have? Epic stone walls? It'd be good if we could thin them out using the walls. Let's find out. So they got another army around there, that's fine. This is a good quality army, but we got loads of generals' bodyguards, so if we utilize them, we can essentially take no casualties. through the front. March. Forward. 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 Move out. Forward. March. 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 You need us move out. The fairy man will be busy today. The enemy have brought more men to the fight. Come on, bring him bring him just a little bit closer so we can shoot you with the towers. Oh lovely. Lovely. Just wait for the towers to do their thing before we make any other moves. It'd be better if we had Roman towers here, but at least these towers are doing some damage. Unfortunately, we can't change the culture of them. At least in Medieval 2, they made it so all, all, you know, large or huge stone walls were functionality-wise the same. quite content to just sit here and just let them get shot. I'll just pause the recording while this goes on, but once we can't get any more kills with the towers, then we'll go in and attack. So I just put some archers up on the wall and figured if they're just going to stand there, I might as well shoot them, especially if they're facing them. Oh, they're not facing them anyway. 
Okay, but we've taken out quite a few of them. If I just go charging in there now, I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. And the good thing about this is this will help us clear the way towards Antioch. We can easily just punch through the center here. We want to be taking out their general, but their general is probably going to die from the towers soon. Smartly, you can get a fool. And if he does get killed, then running the like does break easily. I just don't see the point in needlessly sacrificing any of these bodyguards when I don't have to. Because they're needlessly sacrificing themselves. Yeah, I'm still just gonna do it. It's just taking too long. Makes a home in our enemy's hearts. Looks like the first army is defeated. The gods be praised! The enemy's hearts are And then full the of second army starts coming flee. around. But it's nowhere near as much of a threat, so that's fine. Pretty sure this one's completely wiped out. Alright, so don't move that far just yet, just move to about here. Oh, they're, they're getting off the battlefield. Probably a, a wise decision on their part. This is victory. Cool. All right, now we need to leave just a few guys behind. Just leave those uh, coastal levies. Forward. Forward. Ooh, Roman epic stone wall. Assaulting that would be a pain in the ass, but a draw out would, would work out pretty well. General, general, forward. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead with Besieging that. Besieging settlement, sir. Settlement under siege, sir. Sir. Because I'm up. confident fighting these guys out in the field, they'll get crushed. Ready to sail! Sir! Yeah, I'm just gonna walk them towards Jerusalem. Move out! Moves depleted, sir! Cool, cool. So financially, we're still... Still... Got a lot of problems. We haven't really made any... Any... General! Improvements yet. Prepare for battle! Besieging oh, it's settlement, gonna take multiple sir. turns. Settlement no, it's... Under siege, one sir. ram per turn, Orders? basically, so I don't know. Onward! Move depleted, sir! To attack this turn or not. Maybe I'll wait till next turn. So that'll be, that'll be gone. Order. Still waiting to go ahead with that. Under siege, sir. Is there anyone that I forgot? Sir. Oh, hang on, there's the fleet over here. I, Captain. Set sail. Oh, damn it. Fleet ready. Well, I, if the, if the, rev, if the uh, Navy went out that way, maybe you can get back there. Depleted, I just sir. need one ship to, in order to ferry my guys over to, to Britannia. Right, I think I've done everything that I can. Sir! Let's move on. Forgot about that one, but luckily multiple turn move order. Good they're going ahead with this. If they had sent another army out around me to attack, I would have only had this guy. So, a lot of cataphracts. And we have to make sure we do not get close to those walls. They will fuck us up big time. 
So it is very risky what we're doing here. It's far less risky doing it in uh, Medieval 2. Because, you know, the towers don't operate unless somebody's near them. In fact, in Medieval 2 is almost no risk. Reinforcements have arrived! But are they in time to take part in the battle? Capturing and exterminating the settle settlement will certainly help us with our, uh, with our debt. And since it's close to our capital, it'll, it shouldn't get any corruption. Meaning maximum profits. Ideally, we want to be having a, a little bit more of a western capital, though, so that some of the more, more western cities don't have 80% distance to capital. But we'll see how we go. Units. See if we can do this just with the general's bodyguard, because they can be replaced. Now charging into them while they're moving over here is still not a good idea, because all of these towers are machine gun ballista towers. We wouldn't win. And even with this, it says the balance of power is even. It's because I got so many cataphracts. But all this running around for them can't be good. And we do have cavalry superiority, even if their individual cavalry are better than ours. Now we need to be trying to take out the general first. He's all the way over here. Also, I guess making their infantry as tired as possible would be even more useful. Charging this one here is... Yeah, they won't run them down because they can't... They can't see where they're going. Because of the, the gates not being captured. Some of our generals may die in this battle, but they're the only like so the only units I can actually replace. If they fight to the death, we can fight them. But if they're just broken, we can't. Fighting like this. Alright, pull them back. That's not to our advantage, that little fight there. Might be in our best interest if we don't put this guy too much in danger, because if he dies, we're in big trouble. I really need to kill this guy. I'm gonna send a small group up there again. He, he does not want to fight. Let's take out this guy here. Sort of semi horse sandwich. I don't really like fighting these little spearmen here. Go back again. Gonna 
the generals are actually in that group there. As far as I can tell so far, nobody's died. Yeah, apart from actual bodyguards, but no generals have died. It's good that their, their cataphracts are exhausted. Good for us. Get, get you out of there. They're out of there as well. I don't know where you think you're going, but that's the wrong way. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> that pathfinding was awful. Oh my god, so really getting tired. And their general should be going down any moment now. To fill the heart of the enemy general with fear. Are you now kidding me? Come on. Please feel like a coward. No, they're not gonna. They, they won't. They can't run down units. Not in this situation. You can't do it. They just outright will not target them. Okay, the worst of this is over. We've clearly won. Now we just need to wait until we can actually get all of them to route simultaneously. Because I don't want to go anywhere near the walls, obviously. Anytime we get an opportunity to actually wipe out a unit, we need to take it. He's too tired, he can't catch him. And now just stand back over here. What are you attacking? Yeah, get some rest while they they collect themselves. Could use the other units here, but like I said, I can't replace them. Save them for a truly desperate situation. There must be a unit that's Waiting technically dead order. right here. Yeah, there it is, yeah. Units. Happens units. in Rome Total War. It's a bug. Happens all the time. But it is a bug. Okay, I think we wiped out one of their units there. It'll be a lot easier to wipe them out once they've recovered their fatigue. Try and, try and avoid this corpse pile there. Could also be an, another good way for wiping them out is using the archers. But we don't have that many, and on this unit scale, archers aren't very useful. Units. As much as possible, we need to try and surround these units. So they have that fine for the death. Status thing. There we go, wiped it out. It's one fewer units we have to worry about. So yeah, getting them all to to route simultaneously can be a bit of a pain. Might not be a good idea to actually kill the enemy general. 
Let's just just wait there. He's not. He can't shoot. I don't think he has a bow. Wait for him to get all of his troops here. Like I said, it's all about getting them to rout all at the same time. So constantly chasing back one or two of these these losers is not going to matter. Yeah, I think that unit there is still broken. Not doing any real damage. The gods have filled the heart of the enemy general with fear. Now he we flees the field like a coward. Get some of them to rout. Maybe, maybe we'll get them all to rout simultaneously. Okay, don't get too close. It's not going to work this time. Get back. Don't worry about it. Not worth risking all their lives over it. Just be patient. It'll happen. Actually, if I charge into them right now, I think most of their units are actually routing. And we wiped out one of their units. And the other one, how about that? Maybe while the gates open, we can actually run them down. Almost got it. It's good they're recovering their fatigue now. Oh, they're running it down. Nice. The gods have filled the heart of the enemy general with fear. Now he flees the field like a Looks like there's about four units left. And they'll all be exhausted. Some of our units are more tired than others. Units. Units charged. Good, now they're down to three. Well, this is risky. Yep, yeah, get him out, get him out, get him out. That's what happens with just a few seconds near. Hang on. Now's our chance. Make them rout. Simultaneously, go, go, go. See, I, ju I just lost two generals right there. But it won us Demands the battle. Like I said, that's why we had to stay nowhere near those towers. Victory! Settlement captured! If they had done that in the first place, they might have won. Uh, well, of course we got less generals this time, but I still will fight this, because I think we've... Yeah, I'll still fight this. At least this time we don't have to worry about towers. Although, if we did, it would be our towers. Today is a great... Okay, once again, I want to try to utilize just the general's bodyguards. Even though we lost... Two of them in the previous battle, as I've said before, more of them can come. And there's nothing special about any of these guys apart from the actual commanding officer. Your reinforcements have arrived! This is hopeful news indeed! I left him out in the open there. Go for it. Eventually, you're gonna reach the edge of the map, and it doesn't matter if we don't kill him. If he leaves the battlefield, that's fine as well. But we should be surrounded. The gods be praised! The enemy general the is dead. Is that we've His men quite know tired. their doom approaches. All right. Ideally, we want to be taking out their cavalry first. I mean, actually, if we if we punch through their center, it probably would work because their general's dead. Units, move out. Units, units, make haste. Tell me it's good. Units, double time. Right, I'm gonna punch through the center. Units, There we go, broke them. Units charge! Units charge! 
damage. But our troops are faster than the Klubinari, so we can actually run them down. I'm gonna get back over here. Get away. I want to wipe them out. I want to get these cataphract fuckers. Eighty nine percent. Good. They got all got wiped out. Victory! We're Our fleet is under attack! Disengage! Our fleet is under damn. attack! Triple dam. Looks like we're not going to Britannia. Move depleted, sir. Uh, the ship's still Ready alive. Maybe we Aye. might just make it. I don't know. Like only one guy needs to get there. General. So at Samara Breva, bit of a bit of a shitstorm there, but. I'll figure something out. Sir. So they've put a few extra units in there. Engage I'll still besiege the them. Be It'll take a while before sir. these this the siege tower will be done, but that's okay. So we won here, but two of our generals died. So we, where we had ten before, now we've gone only got eight. There's an opportunity here for a draw out, possibly. But I need a ship in order to do it because I've got to get someone over here to besiege this. All right, I, take you over I, here. I, Sir. I just need one go. He has to be able to besiege aye, the settlement. Aye, okay, good. Splitting the troops. Disembark. General, prepare for battle. Besieging settlement, sir. Settlement so let's have a look at that here. Sir. Taking General. the settlement. Imperator. How bad's the damage? The Forward. Virtually no damage. It's Christian. And it's making it's making ass loads of cash. Good. Tarsus is just a large city. But I'm sure it can make a similar amount of cash. Orders. Prepare for battle. Damn it. I don't want him to stand and fight, so just withdraw from that for the moment. General. Mark. General. If I send just General. a little bit more oomph, he might he might fall back. Hold out. Engage Good. the enemy. Victory! Imperator. Attack. So what do we got in here? Break off the sea! Two generals bodyguards. Okay, we should be able to manage that with just Imperator. our generals bodyguards because General. ours are Imperator. faster than theirs. Leaving the army. Engage the enemy. Now let's take out the reinforcing general first. He's coming from the west. Today is a good day. Await my orders. Units. Oh, no, sorry, he comes from the south. My mistake. Actually, that worked out quite nicely. I positioned myself right in front of him. Okay, we got to make sure he doesn't get away, so surround him. Yeah, 
praised. The enemy's hearts are no, full of no, fear. Where you now go, they you, flee. You can't withdraw. You're not allowed to withdraw. You've already withdrawn once before. This is taken to high ground. We're okay. It's very important that our fa uh, fatigue does not... That we don't get too tired. Say that as I run. But I prefer to run and then just rest. I don't mind if he shoots us from there. And I'll need to start getting some guys around the hill here. Like our troops are armored well enough. We'll be okay. to escape. Just slowly make sure that he, there's no chance of him slipping by us. Surrounded. <laughs> the enemy king has. Oh. Good stuff. That worked out very nicely. Victory! Sir, prepare for battle. Victory! So, like I said, not a huge amount of money to be gained from it. But it's still good. Now, our f it certainly does look a little bit more diminished. I suppose it's because we've had to leave units behind every now and again. Still want to go ahead and take Cyprus. And we've got all these additional units here which we could spread around. Now, taking Hatra, it's a large city. I think it's, yeah, it's a Zoroastrian city though. What else we got out here? There's An Ankara up this way. I think it's out there somewhere. One turn of rest will really help them out a great deal. I'm going to have to make this a 90 minute episode and we're probably going to need... I'm definitely going to need a second episode, I don't know about a third. But looking at these things at the moment, we've we've almost make making enough money uh, just from taxes to at least equalize our stuff. Let's, let's change the capital over to Sidon, see how that goes. Okay, so projected profits three five three six two. It's it's a small difference, you know. It all adds up. Fleet ready, set sail. Ah, oh, they've besieged us here, but we've got huge stone walls, right? Epic stone walls. So, if and when they are sold, they will get annihilated. Rome does not have a lot of defense down this way. How's their financial situation? Hmm. That looks like it could be deliberate. I don't know. So, yeah. If they've got finances, that means they can recruit new units. There's also this over here. Sir, Overly not important. Yeah, we'll just merge these. Sir! General! Forward! Merging armies! General! I might Attack! wait another turn. Settlement under siege, sir. Don't want to do that, but that's what we're gonna do. Uh, if you could just get in my Attack! way, please. Victory! Orders. Right. Orders. Orders. Yeah, I'm gonna do a draw out here. Mark this way. Sir. Attack! Besieging settlement, sir. Settlement under siege, sir. Assaulting it normally sir. is. Sir, onward. Almost suicidal. Imperator, move out! No more move, sir! Sir, move out! Out of move, sir! Daryl. Yeah, my ship over here, he didn't quite make it. Now, yeah, they're not going to start building siege equipment this turn. If we sally out... Imperator. I don't know, we might be able to kill them with our towers. I guess we could always just try and have a look, and if it doesn't work... 
we can just pull back in. I remember ages ago, back in the days before the patches, you used to be able to just go outside the settlement and the AI would always charge after your, Wait, my after your men on the, uh, and just run around the city just having the tower shoot them. So yeah, there is a breach, but the breach is, oh my god, it's right in front of them. Yeah, but they're not gonna be. They're not gonna go for it. Shit. Get over here quickly. I might be able to knock out these artillery. And if I can just do that, it's better than nothing. Because they're just leaving him behind here. Okay, probably engage them right there. Perfect. Hey. That'll do. That'll do. Wait, because we got a breach here, does that mean we can't end it? Yeah, no, we're fine. Man, yeah, we took out their artillery. It's better than nothing. Now, another thing that we could do is send a relief force down there. It's not going to be a lot of relief. Get our force together. Uh, I think I'll just wait. It might just be good if they could combine these forces and... I don't know, I'll figure it out from there. General. When our tail was to rip them to shreds though, of course. How much movement? Orders. Orders. A little Orders. bit. Imperator. I would like to capture this. Fleet ready! Set sail! Alright, let's take two of these guys, bring them over Set here, I, just, I don't think the, the cavalry will be Fleet able to make ready. it here, this, well the ships won't be able to anyway. Alright, maybe, maybe just wait. So let's Orders. take them though. Orders. Yeah, I think I'll just, no, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to put them out in the boat, Mark. I'm not going to take the other, other units. Cap. Aye, aye, Captain. Keep them together, move, and we'll sir. prepare an attack Ready on the settlement. Set sail. On no more moves, sir. Aye, Captain. Set sail. Now, what about this? We've got epic stone walls here. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon I could do something with this, but we'll General. sally out rather than attack. than fight on the field. Because this way, we'll at least be able to improve this general. You know, provide we win. And lifting this, the siege will mean more trade income. And also killing off a few Sassanids. Await my orders! Units, yes, Imperator! And if they can walk past a tower or two, I won't complain about that. Warlord, march. Oh shit. Your reinforcements okay, I wasn't expecting arrived. they're gonna be right behind this. This is hopeful news indeed! Oh well, actually maybe I can reduce this. They're on the run now. If I can hit off some of their missile units, or just some of the stragglers, just like we did in the previous Salia. The odds are really... They're, they're probably just going to run away. So we'll just try and get some kills anyway. What if we kill their, their elephant general? We do put our guy at risk by doing that, though. Take on those cataphracts, but just away from the enemy infantry. Units, move out! Yeah, I thought they were gonna do that. Try to take out these Kurdish gentlemen if we 
Champion. At least wiping out one year is better than nothing. It's a waste of time. Yeah, we don't get a chance to continue the battle because of the way this campaign's been set up. Victory! That's alright, at least we lifted that siege. Stay there for the turn and I'll... I'll want to be sending a lot of the reinforcements over here to meet up with them for, for garrisons and other settlements. Now, financially, let's have a look. It says here we're going to make about two grand. Good. So if we just wait... 200 turns will be out of debt. Uh, we're not quite done yet either because we've got Cordoba to take. Since it's just a general's bodyguard, order resolve will be sufficient. Oh, the Western Roman rebels are gone. Cool, I guess. Alright, what's going on here? It's mostly pagan. In fact, it's entirely pagan. See, our faction lead is a Christian, but like demolishing this would be a bad idea. Alright, just leave like one unit behind his garrison. Let's keep moving. I want to get over here. I can't remember where the settlement is. I think it's like. I think it's around there, I, can't, I just can't remember. General, orders. Rather than leaving a large garrison, just put the games up. Now, is this province here making us money or is it costing us money? So if you have a look at the cost, it's 16 plus corruption. Oh my god. So, 2,000, 2,400 roughly. We're making profit. Small amount of profit, but we're making some profit out of it, so it's okay to keep it. And let's keep marching on it. Hopefully they're undefended here. So it'll take a few turns before we can assault here, and maybe we should even start them now. I know it's going to take a long time, but we'll see. Fleet ready. Asshole rebels. Pirates. Oh, we don't really need our ships anymore. Anything there. Alright, they'll sally out over the intern, and I anticipate a victory. So, financially, we're making. Yeah, about four or five thousand a turn now. Cool. Moving on. It is a river crossing battle, but can we win this? Maybe. I mean, they've just got peasants. We'll, get, we'll give it a shot. Worst case scenario is we lose. Oh well. It's better than these guys sitting out there in the middle of nowhere doing nothing. Today is a grim day. Await my order. Interesting that the Romano British get the same. Yes, Imperator. Uh, same voice actor as the Romans. They're considered a Roman faction, not a British one. Or a barbarian. The enemy have brought up more men! They may even try and swim across. Yeah, it looks like that's what they're gonna do. Is it? Well, they're not firing back at us. Nice. Because by the time they get across here, they're going to be totally exhausted. Let's get back a little bit. If I can still reach them, then they can reach me. Oh, they're, they're about to swim across. Okay, cool, cool.
don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, shoot him in the water. <laughs> yeah, now shoot that Sarmatian to the there. Yeah, this goes to be done before they the decide to cross. The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle, it's beyond across. belief. That's hilarious. Okay, stay there. Stay there. Don't run. Got some archers here. Might be best to shoot those archers. So just weren't doing any damage to these. Archers should actually be able to fight these guys in melee. So I don't want these peasants hitting the rear of my troops over here. That's powers evenly matched, that's good. Fuck idiot! Luckily our guys are still managing to hold, and he wasn't anything special, he was just a captain. Their general's likely to die soon as well. It's because of all the experience, they just didn't really care. Really, it makes a huge difference if you more like this. Definitely lost a little bounce in power though. Don't let him get away, don't let him get away. Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too! Go, 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 go. Come on, you sloppy fucks. Get him. The gods be praised! The enemy general is dead! His men know their doom approaches! Get back approaches. here, says so there are the units. Cross. So it's not definite that we've won, but we have taken out all their best units. Except for a couple of archers. They're still sending the odd guy to swim across. Can't justify crossing just yet. Just have a bit of a rest. Maybe once he's on the other side, they'll send another, another unit over. I'll bring my archers over here and shoot this more. You guys have had a bit of a rest now. We're not going to swim across. I mean, we've got a bridge here. We'll just, we'll just go across. They do have some archers left. Not a lot, though. They're trying to use flaming around to break us. Charge it there. Oh, shit! They're not going to come back either. 
Everything's relying on these guys now. Have to rely on hit and run. Like these Sarmatian Auxilia are amazing troops. Oh, this guy came back, that's, that's good. The way he broke, I mean, when the general died and he was fighting superior units, he didn't, didn't break, but now he does for some reason. Maybe it's just the numbers. Overwhelmed by their peasant army. We also need to kill them all, so that we actually get the city without the, the, the siege. The assault army. They're holding on quite well. We'll make sure we kill them all. See, they're not going to be able to hold that much longer. Oh. Enemy show their true. Wait, we're not able to run them down properly because. Eh. 88%. Let's see here. No, I don't think we wiped out the, the garrison. We could have if we were given more time to fight it, but we. Because of the way it's set off. At least we killed the main army, the first one. The one that actually attacked us. Alright, over here. Let's get ready for another sally out. So, overall, the. The battle went okay. Obviously, it would have been great if our units didn't rout, but we won. We won when the balance of power wasn't in our favor, despite our general dying. The reinforcements have arrived! This is hopeful news indeed! And then we just wait for them to come out. Might just pause the recording while I wait for them to, to get set up, because it could take five minutes. Okay, there's an opportunity that I see over here to snipe the enemy general. Just you know, take it right now. Right, let these two hang back, because I can't replace them. Actually, no. Bring them in, because there's no towers here either. I'll try to get around their back. If we can surround him, he'll fight to the death. Don't break on me. Don't break just yet. We got him anyway. Gods be praised! The enemy general is killed! Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts! Good start. Alright, now what? So looking over here, what are they doing? Yeah, they're still getting nosed. All of them are out on the field now, we just need to wait for them to come at us. Because I don't want to be fighting near those towers, obviously. Here we go. So I believe that's another warlord. But it's not going to matter. No, Equity's Auxilia. That's there, that's a rebel general there. Attack! So we get them to break easily enough. But we need them all to route simultaneously if we want to win the battle. They're all, they're all exhausted. Waiting for orders. Hurry. 
from his camera on them. Got the motor out simultaneously. Worked. Victory! Good, and now we exterminate the settlement and we should be able to maintain public order. Uh... Our fleet is under attack! I can't protect Our them. They're, they're in bad attack. positions. What am I gonna do? Oh dear, that's a big force right there. Alright, so, good, another general. So, financially, we're, we're below 400,000 debt, but we're still losing money per turn. Probably because these, these settlements, um, they uh, got under the siege, which means the trade income has been removed. And th this settlement here made a lot of money through trade. Now, whilst it would be okay to come over here and capture this, we really should stop this as well. Captain, fleet ready. Aye, aye, we probably Captain. won't be able to attack that this time. Ready to sail. Now we got huge stone walls here, right? No, large stone walls. All right, I think we we don't need that many people to take out this, so General. I'll put six of Sir. them here. Onward, ready to sail. And over here, these aye, aye, other Captain. two. Disembark. Orders? Here. Onward. Okay, let's sell the out here. Attack! Maybe spearmen. Alright, let's do this. He's got no command anyway, so having him command the battle wouldn't have made any difference. Uh, well, the only difference I suppose it would have made is that the general would have been there in the fight providing local public, or, uh, public order morale. Yes, March! Reinforcements have arrived! But are they in time to take part in the battle? That's of course of vital importance that we kill the enemy general. So this one here. You know, we are, we are sending two units of cavalry up against four units of spears. Even if they are shit spears. Units. Wary of that. They're not they're not putting them close enough to the towers. But if they chase us, we can make them chase us to the tower. Maybe if you come and stand here actually. They'll need a little bit of a rest before we do anything too strenuous. Just long enough for our guys over here to get there. They're actually holding out pretty damn well. Move them closer before bringing these guys out. It's okay, it's making them tight. I don't like these guys aren't even tight either. And we're not going to get shot by the uh, the artillery towers when we're this close to them. The enemy 
enemy general flees. Press forward. Let him go. The spirit of his army is broken too. Let's get shot by our enemies to tell us. As he... The enemy general flees. Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. any further good so two was enough there get them back on the boat because the, the plan was to come out over here now you still gotta do this as general. well now this guy here is actually a good general so should we fight the man on the field maybe I mean they didn't really the towers aren't gonna matter general. that much in this situation Imperator, engage the enemy. All right okay it's kind of good the camels are the uh, yeah we, we can manage this that the camels are the general. I should be able to isolate him a little bit easier than if it was all, like a big blob of spears. Await my order. Units. Reinforcements have arrived, but are they in time to take part in the battle? Units. Right, so these three around the back here. We've got to try and snipe the enemy general, and also the more we can make them tired, the better. Units isolated. Take him out. Okay, they didn't break. Oh, then they break. I'd like to kill the enemy general, but it's, this is working out quite well for us. I'd rather not use them, like I said, not until we've actually got money in the bank. Okay, they're a little bit tired, let them have a bit of a rest. It's good to see that the Sassanid army is getting tired. Yeah, he's just a camel idiot, so we can easily run now him down. He flees the field like a coward. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Of that. 
try and get 85% of these kills. I'm trying to lose the general. You good as well? And we got all of them back together. Now we can just blob up, it doesn't matter, just hammer them now. Oh no you don't. Eighty five percent one more percent would be would be ideal. stuff. 11 men dead. Nice. Alright, so we've lifted those sieges. Hopefully they won't bother us for a little while, because we still want to... Fleet ready. Still got plans elsewhere. Set sail. General, boarding. Yes, Captain. And if you have a look at that financially, we are actually making profit. But there's still a long way to go. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. There'll have to be a part two, obviously. Uh, we managed to shave off about a, nearly 100,000 of the debt. I reckon in the next episode, I might be able to shave off another 150 to 200,000. We'll see how we go. Anyway, that's the end of this one, so like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Fuckers.